and wrapping up on Boston Common to remember the 17 people killed one year ago today at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Just one of the many ceremonies being held across the nation on this somber anniversary. The anniversary has been very close to home to one college football player in central Massachusetts who were high school seniors in Parkland at this time last year. And you can have Mike Mangione spoke with one of them today and joins us now live from Mitchell College in Dunley. Mike. Sheriff Howard Goodman was in the middle of a meeting with Nichols athletic recruiters when the government opened fire. On a Wednesday afternoon, one year ago, Nichols College student Tyler Goodman heard a fire alarm and we hear uh, the supporters over the PA and say, Code Red. Then watched as hundreds of people ran out of his high school screaming for help. And we're like, wow, this, this, this is real. 17 people died that day at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. I knew Coach Hickson, uh, Coach Aaron Feist, uh, Joaquin Oliver, Meadow Pollock, and Nick Dort. These images and the memories that go with them never fade away. They stay. It still hurts me. Think about it. And they hop. It hurts every time I think about it. It hurts when I dream about it. Just like the sight of the suspected shooter's face, for a moment he and Goodman locked eyes in the middle of the chaos. And that crew just ran right by us and looked at us and kind of smirked a little bit and kept going. If that day changed Tyler, it didn't stop him. He's now a quarterback on the Nichols football team, and the number on his jersey is no coincidence. Because I go out every day knowing I have 17 people watching me. So if I mess up. I'm messing up for them, and I'm messing up for their families back home. And I don't want to do that. And Goodman says he couldn't be home in South Florida today with family and friends, but he says in many ways they were still all together. We're live in Dudley tonight, like Ben Zoni, NBC 10, Boston. Mike, thank you. And another remembrance in Sherborne, where a church is honoring the victims of the shooting with this memorial, the first parish setting out 17 empty desks out in the snow, one for each of the students and staffers who died in Parkland. Day two is free training in the books for the rest of the